Hello friends, welcome to Good Hacker Litical Tutorial. Here we are going to solve remove n slope from n of least coding problem. So this is a linked list coding problem. Given a linked list, remove the n slope from the end of list and return its head. For example, given linked list, there are five nodes, one, two, three, four, five, and n is two. After removing the second node from the n, the linked list becomes one, two, three, five. So n is 2 means we need to remove the second node from the n. We see here the second node from the n is this node with the value 4 here. So after removing it, the link list will only contain 4 nodes, 1, 2, 3, 5. So here's a node. Given n will always be valid. Try to do this in one pass. So let's demonstrate how to solve this uh, kind of with an algorithm step by step and uh, we come up with a solution to solve this coding problem. Okay, follow me here. This is an example picture of this linked list. So there are five nodes. We see here one, two, three, four, five, and n is a two. So n is two, that means our goal is to remove the second node from the n from this linked list. So n is a place that where the, there's no more list node. So we just now here, so we see here uh, from the end, 1, 2, this node with a value 4 here is the second node of, uh, from the end, and we are going to remove it. So we are going to remove this node. In other words, that means uh, we are actually to modify this node, uh, the previous node of this delete node, to link directly to the next node of this delete node. So if we see this picture here, so we see that the real modification of this link list is not happening at the delete node. So it's actually happening at the previous node of this delete node. So we are going to change the previous node of this delete node, the next pointer to point to this delete node, the next node. So which we see here that the node with value 3 we are going to directly point to the list low of the value 5 here. So that bypass this delete low and the link directly together. So if we see this picture, we see that so our goal actually is look at the precision of the previous low of the delete low. It's not to find the precision of the denito, but it's actually to first need to find the precision of the previous law of the delete law. So we see here from the n that now happens. So from the n, there are the distance between this previous law of the denito uh, is um, there are one, two, two list law as a distance between this previous node of the delete node and the n. So it's a just like a equal to this n is a 2. So there are two list nodes as a distance between the previous node of the delete node and the n. So we know that from the n, if we move 1, 2, uh, two nodes, and we can find the previous node of the delete node. But as this coding problem mentioned, we can only do this uh, do this one pass. So that means uh, our like head is at the uh, head of this list node. If we are going to move, we can only move one direction. We cannot move like a head to the end and back to uh, backwards to find this uh, this precision of previous node of the delete node. So we need to do one direction. So how can we find this pre where's node of the delete node. So here we can introduce a, a point called pre-delete. So pre-delete at the beginning is just to place point to the like a dummy node. So we also need to introduce a dummy, dummy node here. So dummy node so domino.next is always point to the original head 
of this nucleus because we are going to change the head pointer position. So we are going to use this domino as a helper to always use the domino.next to point to the origin head of this nest node. At, at the beginning, this pre-delete pointer is point to this domino. So the first step we are going to do is actually move this head pointer. Move head pointer. And to where? Move this head pointer to where? So the condition, so we can here have a condition that defines where this head pointer should move to. So it is a condition that the distance of this pre-delete pointer and the head to be equal to the distance of the real pre-delete previous uh, delete low of a delete low position. So the real place and the end. So we see here, we just saw it here, the, uh, the real previous the node of a delete low and the end place, the distance is a, like there are two least low as a distance between these this two positions. So, so our first step is actually to move this head per pointer so that makes this pre-delete and this head pointer have the same distance as the real previous node of delete low and n. So like we, if we see this example here, it's just to make this head and this pre-delete pointer to have a two least node in between as a distance. So here we are going to move this head pointer first to this place so that the distance is a two list node in between this pre-delete pointer and head so that that's the same distance as we see in the real previous node of the delete node and the end place. And second step is to move pre-delete pointer and head pointer together. Move these two pointer together to where? To the place where head is at the end. So it's a head is at n, that means head is now. So we see here, move them together so that the head would be moved to the end place. And uh, because they are moving together, so they will keep the same distance always. So pre-delete will be moved to this real uh, real load of the previous node, real place of the previous node of the delete node. So it's here. So it's a real place of the previous node of delete node. So here, then we can manipulate this needs node to make this node dot next to the delete node dot next. Then we finish and delete it. We finish our goal, we delete the, the list node we want to remove. So this is a very straightforward uh, step. First, move the head first to make the distance uh, that we want to make uh, like a two list low in between. And the second step, move the pre-delete node and the head pointer together and move the head to the end so that the previous delete the pre-delete pointer is pointed at the previous node of the delete node. Then we can make the next pointer to point to the delete node.next. Then we finish our goal. So this is just an 
algorithm. So it's very straightforward. But there are some like edge cases we need to mention. So edge cases first, first one is that if the n is a like a zero, so that means n is zero. So we are not doing um, counting. So that's just a, in that case, we are not doing anything. So that the head is a still point to the original head. So we are not moving any node of this list node. So we can just uh, uh, return the origin link list. And second edge case is that, like if you see here, the n is uh, like a six here, like a n is a six. Uh, it's longer than the the total number of list node in its uh, link list. So that means if we try to move re remove some list node, we are going to remove nothing. So in that case. We can just return now for this one. Okay, so we see this algorithm and also edge case. Let's go back to coding. Let's solve this coding problem. So as we just mentioned, we can first uh, to do the edge case first. So like n is a, it's all equal to zero. We can just go directly, uh, keep the origin link list. And uh, as we see, we can introduce a domino, domino, value just zero, and domi dot next is point to the head of the link list. And then we can introduce our pre-delete pointer. So pre-delete pointer is at the beginning, just point to the domino position. And uh, so now we need to move the head pointer first. Our first step we see here, move head pointer first to change, adjust the distance between the pre-delete pointer and the head position. So just I, like for loop here, move two steps, not two steps, but n steps. So i plus plus. And uh, as we said, there's also one edge case. If that already had, so inside this for loop, we are going to move the head first, but there's a head edge case. If head is already moved to the end, that means the n is uh, greater than the total number of this link list. In that case, we just need to return now. So after this for loop, we adjust the distance between pre-delete pointer and head to be same as the real previous delete low, previous low of delete low and the n. So after that, we can do the second step. So the second step is to move the pre-delete and the head pointer together until head reach to the end. So while head is not equal to now, so in that, uh, while head is not equal to now, so we are going to move both the pre-delete to next one and head to the next one. So after that, so the head is reached to the end. Head is reached to the end so that we can make some manipulation. So we are going to change the pre-delete down next to be the pre-delete dot next dot next. So that pre-delete dot next pointer is point to the next node of the delete node directly. So that the, the delete node is going to be removed from the link list. And 
This is the last step. We are going to return the dummy.next. Dummy.next is a head of the this link list. So after return, we can get this new link list. So let's quick make a uh, uh, make some check of uh, like if there are some typos before before we submit. So we introduce a dummy node and dummy in dot next point to the head of this node and pre delete. So pre delete. So this pointer um, um, at the beginning point to the dummy. And we first move the head node, move the head node, so to make the adjust the distance between the pre-delete and the head pointer. So if there's like um, the n is already greater than the total number of the list uh, link list, we can directly return now, and then move the head pointer and pre-delete pointer together together until the head reach to the end and then we can manipulate the pre-delete.next to be the delete node.next then we remove the delete node and return finally return dummy.next to get the head of the new link list okay looks good submit okay cool accepted so we successfully solve this coding problem about remove n slope from n of list so i hope you enjoy watching the step of solving this problem so this link list coding problem you see that when we drop this picture and uh, we uh, divide our algorithm the step by step to solve this coding problem so this is a uh, very important when you solving the coding interview so first uh, analyze the coding um, coding scenario and then uh, come up with your solution your algorithm step by step so and finally output your result okay thank you for watching thank you for subscription to good taker lead code uh, good taker youtube channel so see you next time bye